Hey everyone, today on the bench I'm going to tie you up a red sided shiner. Uh, this is kind of a mouth chub. I've known some of these rough fish in uh, some of our lakes that I've been fishing and uh, tied this fly up to kind of match their local forage fish. And uh, when you get these lakes that are kind of taken over by bait fish or rough fish, I'm telling you we can uh, expect some large trout in there. They're hard to fish. These, these trout are, are eating meat and uh, you'll definitely want to be matching what they're eating or you'll be disappointed. So we'll go over the materials. Uh, it's going to take quite a bit of materials here to, to tie this fly the way I've got it. Uh, I'm going to be using a size 4 streamer hook. I'm going to use some clear monofilament thread to tie with. The body, I'm going to be using some Senyo's laser dub and weight. Then I'll rib that with some Uni Mylar size 12. Gold silver, we're going to use the gold side out. The um, Then for the body I'm using for starting on the wing, I'm going to use some kind of a golden yellow polar bear. You can substitute some of this out now if you don't have these exact materials. I'm just showing you what I'm using. Then uh, when I go on that, I'm going to go with my red sides. I'm going to use some red glimmer, poly bear, whatever you like. Something nice and soft, very thin materials we use on streamers. Uh, then I like uh, fire, uh, these SF fibers, I use a lot of these for different uh, size bait fish. This Steve Farah has come out with some really, really nice uh, streamer materials. This is the redfish coloration. It's kind of an orangey brown. I'm going to use actually an orange for the center. With a little, this has got a little glimmer in it, a little scaly material in that. Uh, what do they call that? It's a different little different material. Um, I'll pull it up for you on my recipe when I get the recipe posted for you on that. I don't see my bag where that came out of right at the present time. Over the top, we'll use some um, peacock colored SF just for a little, get a little more darker on the top, the back. Then we'll use some speckled gold, um, flashaboo here for the top, the very topping of that fly and then on the head I'll use some more of the Senyo's laser dub then we'll go in with some ice dub golden brown just to finish the head and then uh, for the eyes I'll just use some stick on eyes, these are uh, yellow extra small tape on eyes. So let's get a hook in the vise and start the process. It's a, it's a bit of a time consuming fly, but um, it's one that does work. And if, you've, if you're into streamer fishing at all, you know where I'm coming from. This is a lot of fun. It's, it's, uh, your tar it, it's a whole different game. You're going to start catching some huge trout. They eat different. They chase different. They want meat. They want it right. So don't worry about the size of a fly. Four is not a huge fly when you're in that game at all. Okay, we'll come in with some of our mylar. I'm going to tie it silver side up here to 45 of the rear. And just get that out of the way for now. Put a half inch in. I'll, you can dub this by hand. This is my laser dub. Come in here now for the body. Get a nice loose dub on there for that. We like it nice and loose. We're going to pick it out. This looks really, really good when it's wet. Uh, it does a nice job of uh, all your minnow bodies. It's, it's something I'd strongly recommend you get some of this. It's really soft. Okay, then I'm going to get a little picker. Pick this out. Get that as fuzzy as we can right there. Then I'll just wrap my uh, gold tinsel forward. Get my rib. That looks really nice when it's wet. And remember all your flies, when you're doing your flies, it's they might not look quite right when they're dry, but you get them in the water, test them in your sink at home or in the lake, or get them wet. 
and you'll see that body right there. I just love that for bait fish. Takes on a life of its own down there. It looks really, really good. I don't know who come up with that idea, but it's a great one. Okay, then we'll bring in a little bit of this. Uh, this is a yellow, kind of a golden yellow polar bear. Now the tips are pretty straight right there. I want to just stagger them a little bit. Get a little bit of my, a little bit of a curvature. Make sure that's pointing the right way. This mono thread is very thin. You can't pull on it real hard. But you can get lots of turns. You got lots of material to go on here, so a thin thread is fine. We're going to put a little glue in there once we start stacking some of our materials on top of each other. Okay. Then these uh, chubs, they have red sides on them. So we'll come in here with some of this. this is a poly shimmer and a poly bear. Uh, it's very, this is very soft, thin materials. As you can see, I don't want too much overbearing. It's a, kind of a little lateral line on it. And when I cut it, I just tease it back. So I'm going to tie it on this side good. Get it over the other side. Make sure it's on the sides. Just use my scissor blades to kind of tease it back. There we go, get a bit of that red accent on the side. There's an orangey color there, that's good. Now I'm coming in with my orange um, ferrofibers again. This actually has a little glimmer in it, a little scaly material in there as well. I'm just going to tie that on top here again. I'm just stacking everything on the top. Now I'm just going to trim this back just a little bit, just basically with... Oh, it kind of pulled out on me there. It didn't have too many turns on it. That's alright. Start over again. But you get a lot of turns of that. There we go. And I can just tease that back a little bit. Get a little more orange. Fold that over itself. Looks pretty good. And these these are fat little chubs there, chubbies. So we're going to build quite a. This is more. This is the redfish color now. That's kind of a brownie. Orange. I'm coming off the back here a little bit more. I'm getting quite a taper on it. It's actually going to be a pretty big meaty fly when it's done. But don't worry, this will work. Lakes have got big rainbows with it. You can catch anything that swims with it really. If there's, bit, there's rough fish in there, some nice bait fish, this is the kind of fly you want to be throwing. I'll get some of my uh, olive. I think I got a little loose here. Yes, I do. And this gets kind of unruly when you don't keep it in the bag properly. And then we come in for a little bit of the green. This is the peacock. Kind of gives it a nice... All minnows have a really dark back. There we go. I'll just kind of roll that together my fingers and more manageable. If there is such a word for this stuff, sometimes it can get a little little bit crazy. There we go. You see I'm stacking it back over itself. It's not quite as long as that last piece. I just want it as a small topping. Then I'm going to come in here and want some really nice gold accents. So this speckled gold uh, flash here, black and gold. Uh, it's called Super Flash Speckled Gold. This is really nice. I'm going to just kind of put this as an accent on the top corner 
on each side there. So it's not really over the, the topping as much, kind of a, envelopes the sides a little bit. So it gives a really nice look in the water. There we go. We've got quite a large head in there and that's fine. Now, just to finish that all up, I'll just come in here with some of my ice tub. And I want to try to get these fibers pulled out. I'm going to roll that a little bit. Get that on the top. Go to the bottom now. I'll get some more of that Senua's laser dub on the bottom. Just get a little pinch of that out. Lay that on the bottom. Now we can come right to the hook. Behind the hook with that material right there. So you can just see the hook kind of peeking out there. I get right behind there we go. Not just catching it. This will kind of cover up all that we just did with our we stacked all our hair and our wing up. I'm just gonna get some turns right behind the shank or the eye here. Get lots of turns in behind that. Tie it off. Get a little brush. And brush it out. Quite bulky, but it'll it'll thin out nicely in the water. And then we'll come in with some eyes. Take a little gold, yellow or gold, kind of a goldy yellow eye on each side. And then I'll put a little UV on there. When I UV this, I'll just make sure I got some around the outside, get the cement in there, get a little bit of the little dab on the, some of that material on the head. Make sure I get a generous amount around the eyeball. And uh, cook that on and that'll hold the eyes in place. Basically the uh, shape of your bait fish will be there. And there it is, red side chum, chub. And uh, it's a great, great fly. Get it wet, it looks a lot thinner than it does on the bench right now, but uh, I'll show it to you, the one we had on, on there before was, was actually wet. Oh, here it is. So it does take kind of a more of a bait fish shape once, once you get these materials wet. They're all dry right now, but they do, do get a little thinner in the water, but you see the nice uh, body. I was talking with that laser dub in there. That looks really, really good. So this fly will swim. Darts around pretty good. Rip it through the water pretty quick. You can fish it in streams. I don't care if you're fishing bass or trout or pike or whatever you want. If they're if you're fishing a predatorial fish, a big thick fish, bull trout even, you don't have to throw flies that are foot long. Them a lot of fish will love to eat something like this. So all the best to you. We'll uh, get that recipe on there. I know it's extensive. And uh, if you haven't taken up streamer fishing, you want to get in that game, it's a lot of fun. Get yourself a seven or eight weight rod and, and uh, be ready to hook up some of the best fish you've ever caught in your lifetime, I'm sure. So thanks for watching. Catch you again on uh, Sports Fishing on the Fly. See you next time.